The Charter Telecom project is super interesting uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it has a very interesting uh, consulting team, uh, very creative uh, and innovative. It is a it is a very tricky structural uh, challenge to solve. Waymark Architecture was introduced to Charter. Uh, with this project in its very infant stage as, as, as an idea. The realization that uh, I could have an effect on the cities and the towns, uh, the, the people around me, the way that they lived their lives and the way they went about their businesses uh, was something that I found very satisfying, very invigorating. And uh, I, I realized that there is um, a, a real uh, core reason to, to go to work and to use my efforts in this way to improve the lives of people around me. The Charter Telecom building has a lot of restrictions and difficulties to in order to build. It's a long, narrow lot. It was the first time that the Roads End has built a mass timber frame building, and all of the services uh, running through the building were all exposed because it's you're dealing with solid wood uh, panels and had to be visually uh, appealing. Kinsel's role on this project is the structure um, and all the wood related components of the structure. So starting you know, at this foundation stage, we are going all the way until the last roof panels are on top of the building and all the walls um, within are in place and then all the rest of the subtrades are ready to come in from that point on. We wanted a place that would not only foster the innovation of our staff, but would allow us to bring in the community as well as our customers and clientele. You know, we wanted to be a sustainable facility. We wanted to kind of be leading edge, showing our innovation and showing that there's a way to do things differently, maintain profitability and be good with the environment. And that's kind of how we landed on Passive House. When Charter decided that they wanted to build, they started with Dave as a builder and then said, okay, well, we need to find a team of designers. But I think it's also really important to see that this type of building is being promoted by the um, City of Langford, by the Passive House Canada, by the building industries here, so that we can all look to buildings like this and say, it's done, it, it's very possible, here's the story of it. I'm very proud to have been part of the first office building in Canada built to that standard. It's really designed so that um, uh, people will cross paths, that interaction can happen organically, um, and, uh, and really create that, um, that collaborative uh, energy that, that Charter was really looking for. But I look at what we have today, I see um, the feedback and the, the response that I get from the staff and the eagerness and the keenness and how quickly they've, uh, you know, kind of wrapped their arms around this building. And you say to yourself, it's worth absolutely 100%. Uh, the big gathering stair can serve as bleacher seating and uh, you can actually fit the staff in the entire building into that for, for large meetings. So it, um, uh, it, it, it serves that purpose as well. Uh, We've been pleased to be involved with the designers and the builders who have delivered the Charter Passive House Head Office building. And one thing we really look forward to doing is showcasing this project in our events, in our communications, because these types of leading projects are important for others to learn from.